Good morning and a very warm welcome to HT this morning. My name is Joanna Browning and I'm one of the pastors on the team here. An especially warm welcome if you're visiting us this morning. It's great to have you. Make yourself at home, get your cup of coffee, have your Bible ready. Uh, we're coming together as a church family this morning um, to worship God together, to turn our attention towards our Father in heaven. Uh, and in a little while, Stuart Browning, who's one of our associate vicars, will be speaking as we continue in our sermon series called Unexpected Answers. And of course, we'll have some time in worship and prayer together too. But in our usual style, we're going to kick off by letting you know a few things. And the first comes from Ollie Benyon, who's our other associate vicar. Uh, so to start with, over to him. Hello everyone, my name is Ollie Benyon and I'm one of the associate vicars here. And I'm here to say that HT will be holding a gift day on the 22nd of November. God has been incredibly faithful to us this past year and through the generosity of many uh, we are in a relatively good place as we come to the end of the financial year. But we still do have a gap in our finances and we still do have some areas we'd like to make extra investments in. Now while the current situation has been incredibly challenging it has also created a number of new opportunities for new ministries uh, we have seen God uh, reaching out to people through our online services and ministries and we would love to be able to continue investing in this as we go into the new year. So for this year's um, gift day we have set a target for £30,000 and we would ask you to prayerfully consider if you could give towards this. Now your money would go towards closing that deficit as we come to the end of the year. You partially go towards investing in some filming and recording equipment towards some of our uh, guest Christmas services that are coming up as well as continuing to reshape the many key areas of ministry within the church. So to give a little bit more detail about this, um, early this week I caught up with our treasurer Tom Russell. So here's that interview now. Hi Tom, thank you for coming to speak to us. Firstly, could you just introduce yourself? Sure, uh, well I'm Tom and I'm the treasurer of Hurley Trinity. I've been at HT for around eight years. I'm married to Nicola and we've got three daughters. One was born during lockdown. Sure, uh, wonderful. And um, why we've got you to, to speak is firstly, just tell us a little bit about where we are as a church financially. Yeah, sure. In summary, our finances are fairly stable but we're currently facing a shortfall for the year as we've had to invest in some one-off items such as filming equipment as well as incurring some higher running costs for example in hiring the expertise to edit our videos for us every week our deficit for the year without a gift day is looking like it will be around about fifty thousand pounds and we do these annual gift days you know, every year and could you tell us or just give us an indication of what what this gift day will be going towards sure so when we start coming back on a more regular basis, we will be looking to live stream our services, which will result in even more costs, as we haven't yet got the capability to do this. The costs will mainly be for camera and recording equipment, as well as for equipment that's got the processing power and the software to record and relay services in real time. In addition, there are some smaller non-IT costs related to Christmas that we'd like to spend money on. All in all, we're looking to raise £30,000 from this gift day. And if people are listening, thinking, yeah, I want to be able to you know, give during the, this gift day, can you give us some simple ways of ways we could we could do that effectively? Yeah, sure. So there are a few things everyone can do to help us out. But first, I'd like to ask that however people choose to respond financially this gift day, they do so digitally if at all possible. It makes the admin more straightforward on our side. And it's also much, much easier to find the information several years later if we need to check it rather than sifting through boxes and boxes of paperwork. To encourage this, we're not sending out any paper forms this year. However, if you'd like one, then it is possible to print one from the website. So the three ways you can help us out this year. So firstly, please update your gift aid information. This allows us to claim an extra 25p for every pound that you give without costing you any extra. Many people already have up-to-date gift aid information, but sadly, many people don't. This may never have been filled in or may have expired. For example, if you've changed address, Simply put, there's a lot of unclaimed tax that we could be using to fund our church, if only everybody filled in these forms. 
The second thing that would help would be to consider a one-off gift this gift day. This would allow us to invest in the right equipment that we need for both online and on-site church as described earlier. And the third way you might be able to help is to consider beginning or amending your regular giving. Regular giving gives us more certainty over our income and helps us to plan our costs and decide what we can invest in for the next year. If you are new to the church and would like to contribute, or have been with us for a while and haven't thought about adjusting your giving recently, then I'd really like to encourage you to think about whether you can help out in this way. So one, update your gift aid record, even if you think it's already up to date. Two, a one-off gift. And three, consider starting or increasing your regular giving. Thank you so much, Tom. That is very helpful and very clear. Um, and if you have not um, received a, a gift day email in the post, there'll be those of you who are watching this and uh, that may be because we don't have your details or we don't have permission to send you an email and you could um, get permission and give us your details by contacting the HT office. And finally, I just want to thank all those who um, have been giving sacrificially over the years and all those also who are considering beginning uh, giving to the work of HT going forward. We're so grateful. Thank you and uh, God bless you and uh, thank you for, for watching this. Well, there you are. As Ollie said, if you didn't get that email um, or other HT emails and you would like to, you can fill out a welcome card on our website and that will make sure you're in the loop going forward. Now, our second notice this morning is a more festive theme. Uh, it's my great pleasure to announce that HT's annual nativity brought to us by HT Kids uh, is coming to a small screen near you on Sunday, the 6th of December. Now, obviously it's going to look very different to what's been done before, but I can with full confidence tell you that it will herald the Christmas season in style. And as always, it will have Jesus, um, put Jesus at the heart of the Christmas season. We are planning um, at this point to have two on-site services on Sunday the 6th of December to screen the nativity with some live elements, but of course that is at the mercy of higher powers. To give you a bit of a flavour of what that might look like, um, here's a little teaser for you. Something very unexpected happened. I'm going to have a baby. You have something, it's probably not your, what you're expecting. Come back, you pesky sheep! Well, so I'm just a kid in the waiting room. So I am like, I have the wrong meaning ID. Someone! You better follow me to Bethlehem. I know the way, try and keep up. So there you go, much to look forward to. Now we've come to our time of worship this morning, so I encourage you, put any distractions to one side, uh, maybe sit forward on the sofa or stand. Let's just make ourselves ready to meet with God and I'll pray for us. Father God, we thank you so much that we can come together as a church family this morning to worship you. We thank you that though we're in lots of different locations all over Cambridge or the country or even beyond, that you are able to come and meet with each of us wherever we are this morning. And we thank you, Father, that not only can you come and meet with us, but you want to. And so we invite you, come and meet with each of us this morning. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.